I remember the day they burned the witch. I was young, still in my pushchair, and Bernadine was pushing me through the market square while Mum did the shopping. We watched as the bonfire caught, and we watched the witch, who was a large, fat man with a wobbly, astonished face. Maybe he thought his magic would save him at the last moment, but it didn't. Then Mum rushed up and told off Bernadine for watching. Only awful people do that, she said. Soon after that, they changed the laws. There are no public burnings these days. The bonfires are lit inside the walls of the jails instead, and the Today program simply announces two witches were burned this morning in the Holloway jail. Five more minutes to Y. You'll have to get writing if you're to fill your page. Charles Morgan. What? <laughs> Write your journal, Charles, or I'll be forced to put you in detention. And as for you, Brian, do try to give us something other than bus timetables for once. <laughs> I got up. We had cold porridge for breakfast. I do not think that I have any bad or secret feelings today. I have nothing to confess. I am confident that none of my thoughts, feelings, or actions could in any way be described as suspect or undesirable. Today has been a perfectly ordinary day. Timetables just run away with me. That's my problem. During geography, I planned a bus journey from London to Baghdad via Paris. Next lesson, I shall do the same via Berlin. Who reads these journals? And why do you want to know our secret thoughts? It can't be you, Mr. Crossley. You take it far too seriously for that. Miss Cadwallader? Or is it worse, the government, or the inquisitors, or、well, people at Larwood House after all? What would you do if you really did know my secret thoughts? Whoever reads this. Oh, Nun Pilgrim, what have you done? Do you have some sort of death wish? No, cross it out, cross it all out. Write something else. Somebody's left a note in one of the geography books Mr. Crosley's marking. It fell out when I was collecting them, and I put it back in. It was written in spiky capitals and addressed to Dear Mr. Crosley. I didn't have time to read what it said. I bet it's a love letter from some giggly moon face like Karen Grigg or Estelle Green. He's going to find it any second now. I can't wait to see his face when he does. All right, two Y. Please make your way quietly. Why? Oh my lord! What is it, sir? Are you all right, sir? Do you need me to call Matron, sir? No, I, I'm I'm fine. I、uh, thank you, Teresa. There's really no. J-、uh, just go on to your next class. You heard the bell. Go on. Oh, oh my!、Uh, someone in this class, oh forgive us and preserve us all, is a witch. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Shouldn't you, of all people, know what a broomstick is, Dulcinea? <laughs> Don't call me that. But it's your real name. Brian looked it up in the school register, didn't you, Brian? Yeah, Dulcinea Pilgrim. Pleased to be known as Nan for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Dulcinea, named for the arch witch. It must be you. Who else is the witch of two eye? I I'm not a witch. Who else could it be? It's none of us, so it has to be you. I, I'm not a witch. Witch, 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 It isn't mine, Miss Hodge. It really isn't. I'm waiting, Nan. Where did you get this besom? I um. Hmm? Are you attempting to tell me that it just appeared in your hands as if by magic? I swear to you, Miss Hodge. You're beginning to sound like a broken record, Nan Pilgrim. Enough. Let's get started. Back to your seats. We are going to suppose to why that one of us really is suspected of being a witch. Now we all know what happens, don't we, when an official denouncement is made? Oh, has a witch's familiar got our tongues? Simon Silverson, can you remind us all what happens when a denouncement is made? The yes, the Inquisitor comes. That's right, the Inquisitor comes. And then, Miss Jones, the suspect is taken away. Exactly. 
And where, Estelle, is the suspect taken? To the Ministry of Protection. Speak up, Miss Green. To the Ministry of Protection. To the Ministry of Protection. So, for the rest of the lesson two, why you are going to have a taste of what it may be like if nobody confesses to this joke. And we are forced to hand matters over to higher authorities. Nan and Charles Morgan. On your feet. Come on. Decide between you who's to be witch and who inquisitor. I'll be the inquisitor. No way. I said it first. Emergency. There are no witches for the autumn bonfires. I'll have to find some quickly. You'll do. You look like a witch. Why shouldn't you be the witch? Because I can prove you're a witch. I'm the inquisitor. I can prove anything. In that case, we'll both be inquisitors. And I'll prove you're a witch too. Why not? You're a specky four-eyes, Charles Morgan, and your feet stink. <laughs> well, at least I'm not called Dulcinea, what normal parents would call their child after the arch-witch. We all know you're a witch orphan, Nan. Both parents burned. What hope is there for you? Don't you dare talk about my parents like that. But it's true, though, isn't it? Well, what about your parents? How come you ended up in Larwood House? How did any of us? I'm only here because my dad's deputy head. What happened to your mum, Brian? Answer us that. None of us are clean blood. None of us are innocent. If the Inquisitors come in, they'll arrest us all. Because it's right what Charles said. They can prove anything they want. We're all guilty as soon as we're accused. Because we're accused. And once we're accused, there's no way out. Well, to why? I would say that went rather nicely, wouldn't you? Perhaps now we all have an idea of how serious the matter is. Come in. Ah, oh, Miss Pilgrim. Thank you, Mr Wentworth. Mr Crossley said you wanted to see me, sir. Come in. Have a seat. Well, Nan, there are some pretty serious accusations flying about. I'm not a witch, sir. Careful, Nan. I didn't say you were. But everyone else does. No one, Nan, has accused you directly. The minute the accusations do become personal, Headmistress Cadwallader is obliged by law to call in the Inquisitors. So it's in everyone's interests that these malicious pranks are brought to a halt. Hmm? Now, do you have any idea who might be responsible? Uh, I don't know. Charles Morgan? I know he hates me. He hates everyone. Or someone you wouldn't expect. Like Theresa Mullet or Simon Silverson. Everyone thinks they're model pupils, when in fact... Careful, then. I'm afraid that given their track record and yours, you won't stand a chance, not to mention your family history. Why does everyone keep bringing that up? I didn't ask to be descended from the Archwitch. Well, so it's true? Yes. Reach down that encyclopedia there. The red cover? No. It, that one there. Now, read out the entry for her. What she'll be under W for Wilkes. Um... Warpole, Sir Robert, Watts, James, ah, here we go, Wilkes, Dulcinea, 1760 to 1790, notorious witch, known as the Arch Witch, famous for her nightly broomstick flights around St Paul's and the Houses of Parliament. Bessons are still called Dulcinea's ponies, took a leading part in the witch's uprising in 1789, arrested and burned. That's all, sir. Well, then let me tell you a secret. I happen, strictly between you and me, to have a lot of sympathy for poor Dulcinea. She said, reasonably enough, that witches couldn't help being born the way they were. All they wanted was not to be persecuted and burnt. And when people wouldn't agree, she lost her temper and worked a great number of huge and violent spells. That was a mistake. It terrified people. And when the uprising was put down, there were an awful lot of bone fires and strict new laws, but she didn't mean things to go that way. You've never told us that in history, sir. Well, there are always stories behind the stories, Nan. It is unfair, sir, isn't it, though? I mean, if you were a witch, and I didn't mean you, sir, or, or me, just if... I'm afraid we'll have to stop our discussion there, Nan. Sorry, sir. Well, just think carefully about what I've said. Now, what lesson do you have next, Nan? P, sir. Right, here's a note for Miss Phillips explaining why you're late. Uh, now, Charles Morgan should be outside. Can you please send him in? I hate Larwood House. I hate the long corridors painted caterpillar green. The thick radiators that are never warm. I hate the wall with barbed wire that keeps us all in. I hate journal time and citizenship, and I hate PE more than anything. Why do they make us do it in the rain? In the freezing cold? I hate it all. I wish I could just magic it away. 
I wish I was a witch. Mr. Wentworth certainly thinks I am, the way he looked at me. He's made his mind up already. Charles Morgan, the witch of 2Y. I wish I was. Abracadabra running shoes. Abracadabra shorts. Why don't you just vanish? <laughs> They've gone. Where did they go? D did I just... Morgan, what are you doing skulking in here? Well, don't just gape at me, boy. Explain to me why you're hiding in here when everyone else is outside. Mr. Wentworth, sir, he gave me... to give to you. You're to be excused your lateness. Well, that doesn't explain why you're still skulking in here. Kit on, out you get. I'm waiting. Actually, Actually, I... what? I... I don't have my kit, sir. Don't have your kit? It... It's vanished, sir. Then you'll have to do laps in your school shoes and pants. But, sir... Your choice, Morgan. Either you find your kit, or you run in your pants. I'll see you outside in one minute. I didn't mean it. Come back, shoes. Abracadabra shorts. <sighs> Nothing. You are a witch. Not a very good one, but you are. There's no denying it. You're going to be burned. Just like the fat witch. You better just confess and get it over with. Go straight back to Mr. Wentworth and confess that you're the witch of 2Y. Lights out! Simon. Psst! Simon! What is it, Morgan? Uh, can I... Can I borrow the emergency candle, please? The emergency candle's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. Please, Simon. It's just for five minutes. If I give it to you... I'll be breaking the rules and I could get in trouble. You owe me compensation for risking it. What do you want? Your pocket money for the rest of the term. Okay. Okay? Just give me the candle. All right. But you forgot to ask for matches. <laughs> I swear, Simon! Okay, okay, I'm joking. Keep your pants on. I'll throw the matches in for free. Here you go. What are you doing, Charles? You're just gonna stand there and watch it burn. You weirdo. Okay. Here it goes. Ah! What's he doing? He's got on his own finger in the frame. Somebody ah. stop him! Stop him, Simon! Ah. <sighs> Mate! Uh. Was that some kind of bet or dare or what? Yeah. <laughs> you weirdo, Charles. Lights out was five minutes ago. In bed and no more talking. I always knew Charles Morgan was mad. Mad Morgan. <laughs> there you go. It hurts, doesn't it? And you didn't even manage half a minute. You were saved from confessing today. You must have been out of your mind to even think of it. The only way is to lie low. No more magic. It hurts to be burnt. It hurts to be burnt. <laughs> Who's that? Bry? Is that you? Uh, Mad Morgan, what are you doing here? I couldn't sleep. My finger. I thought if I got some ice... What are you doing? Have you been crying? No. You so have. Just leave me alone. I have not. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> Chill out. It's okay, Bry. How is it okay? It's the opposite of okay. I hate this school. So do I. Not as much as me. Oh, twice as much as no, you. No, you don't. How can you? People usually leave you alone. They're scared of you, me. I'm just the butt of their jokes. There hasn't been one single night. One night when they haven't beaten me up. I hate them. Tan Smith and Nirapam. And Simon Silver's the most of all. I hate the way everyone does exactly what he says. Like we're all in some stupid game of Simon Says. I hate him. You've got to stop crying, Brian. <laughs> Someone's going to hear us. I don't care. I'm done for anyway. Decided. I'm going to run away. Where to? I don't know. Anywhere. I can't stay here any longer. I was just going to get bread and leftovers and go, but the kitchen's locked up. Don't be stupid. You can't just tie a loaf in your hanky and go. You have to plan it properly. Or else they'll call in the tracker dogs and bring you straight back. 
Then you'll be punished. But I'll go mad if I stay here. It's not just the beating me up, Charles. I lied about that. I can take that. It's worse than that. The truth is, I'm the witch of two Y. What? The witch of two Y. It's me. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. What magic have you ever done? I, I haven't actually done any, but... I have. You what? It hurts to be burnt. It hurts to be... I said, I have. I'm the witch of two Y. You are? Yes. But you, it's too obvious if it's you. You're the one that everyone thinks it isn't, because it'd be so obvious. I'm the magicking witch, Brian. Prove it. It hurts to be burned. It hurts to be... I vanished my PE kit earlier. Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I vanished it. Both my shoes and my shorts. I just sort of threw them up in the air and I said, I don't know, abracadabra vanish, and they vanished. In mid-air. Abracadabra vanish? Shut up, Brian. <laughs> abracadabra vanish. That's your spell. Well, I wasn't trying to cast a spell. I was just saying... What do you say to magic them back? Abracadabra unvanish? <laughs> I didn't make them appear. I tried. I couldn't. You vanished your own shoes and couldn't make them come back. Pretty good witch you are. I don't think it's as simple as that. If it was, I could just say, Abracadabra, shoes come, and they come. Abracadabra, shoes come. Nothing, you see. Ow! What is it? Something hit me on the head. Oh, it's, a, it's a manky old slipper. Ow! There's another one. Oh. What, what have you done, Morgan? Here's a smelly old football boot. And the girl's pin sold. Magic ink spell, Morgan. Here's a welly. Make it stop, Charles. I don't know how. Abracadabra, stop. How? Try it again. Abracadabra, stop. What's going on in there? We've got to get out of here. We can get out the back way. Come on, Charles. Get a move off. A singularly silly trick has been played on the school. The people who played it no doubt find it very funny. But they must be able to see by now what a stupid and dishonourable thing they have done. I want them to come forward and confess. We are going to put a stop to this, too. Why? There have been all sorts of strange rumours swirling, some of which have reached even my ears. Larwood House will not tolerate it. I will, if forced, call in the necessary authorities. That is all. You heard the headmistress, too, why? Now, please, boys and girls, I don't think you know how serious this is. If any of you feels unable to confess in person, you can do it in your journal. The rest of the lesson, therefore, will be spent in journal time. Get writing, please. The most incredible thing happened today. We all woke up, and all our shoes were gone. All of them. Turns out, they were piled up in the dining hall. They filled it completely, floor to ceiling, a mountain of smelly shoes. They say it's a prank, but it can't be. We all know that. It's the witch of 2Y. We all know it's Nan Pilgrim. No one has any proof yet, but we know it's her. Things are getting very serious. And I still haven't found a viable route to Uttar Pradesh. Are you all right, Brian? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Well, get on with it then. And do try not to give us Ulan Bator to Timbuktu on a day like today. <laughs> if the bus departed at... Oh, it's no use. It's no use. I wonder if Morgan could magic me away. <laughs> Fat chance. Look how he screwed up the pathetic bits he did try. M maybe if he practised. If only we had more time. If only... Hang on. What if? Brian Wentworth, I think you just came up with a plan. It's good to see all of you writing so diligently. Or rather, almost all of you. Naming no names, Charles. Sorry, sir. Get writing, Charles. Yes, sir. I got up. Someone played a trick with the shoes. Who would do such a senseless and annoying thing? There you go, Mr Crossley. I wish there was some way of pinning it on Simon Silverson. But Simon would just look at you with his blue eyes and blonde hair and say, It wasn't me, sir, and everyone will believe him because they believe every little thing that Simon says. I wish there was some way of teaching him a lesson. Of showing him... I've got it! 
Simon says. Dulcinea Pilgrim, where do you think you're going? Let me pass, Karen. But a couple of us wanted to ask you something, so we wondered if you wouldn't mind stepping into the bathroom with us. No point turning back this way. You better just come with us, hadn't you? Please, Teresa, let me go. Estelle, you stay here. Keep watch. Okay. Karen, Delia, bring her in. It hurts to be burnt. It hurts to be burnt. But just one last bit of magic. Hardly magic at all, really. Just one little harmless joke. Ah, he's locked it. But that doesn't bother a witch. Abracadabra, Simon Silverson's comb. Simon's comb, come here, come to me. <laughs> it just slid right through, and it's got loads of his hair in it. That'll do the trick. Right, here goes. Abracadabra, Simon says. Simon says. Whatever Simon says is true. Whatever Simon says is true. Well, what are you doing, Teresa? You do know you're getting big trouble for this. Just, just let me go, okay? Not until you show us some magic. I'm not a witch. Come on, Nan. Named for the Archwitch. Of course she's a witch, isn't she, girls? Of course she is. Of course. Mm. None of us are going to tell on you, are we? Of course not. No. We're just asking nicely. Very nicely. All we're asking you to do is, where is it, Delia? To fly around a bit on this. So it was you. You know perfectly well that I can't ride the broomstick. It's just an excuse to be nasty. <gasps> Who's being nasty? We're just asking you, politely, to ride the broomstick. Uh, ow! Stop it! Get away from me! Stop. Get her other arm, Karen! Stop! Get it under her, Delia. There you go. You're sitting on it now. All you have to do is fly it. Oh, this is stupid. I'm not going to fly it. I don't know how to fly it. You know I can't. I know I can't. What are you supposed to do? Say fly, broom, fly. You see? It won't fly. I can't make it. We know you can. There must be a magic word, a spell or something. Go on, Dulcinea, ride your pony. Ride your pony, Dulcinea. Come and look, come and look. Look what Simon Silverson's doing. What? You've got to come. You've got to come right now. Well, just you wait, Nan Pilgrim. We haven't finished with you. Thank goodness, stupid idiots. As if this manky old thing could fly! Ah! Oh my! Oh, oh my! Oh, stop it! Please! Oh, put me down! Stop it! Please! Oh, what if they come back? Oh, we'll both be burnt! Oh, there. Phew. Oh, thank you. Oh. Whoa. Sorry I called you a manky old thing. You really are magic, aren't you? Ow! What are you prodding me for? Stop prodding me! Oh. You mean me? I am a witch after all. Now you're nodding and shaking. I don't know what you... Oh. You mean it's both of us? A witch is broom only works when she brings it to life? You're nodding. You're a witch, Nan Pilgrim. You're a real, true witch. With the blood of the arch witch in your veins. I'm the witch of 2Y. Oi, watch where you're going, mate. There's a queue, you know. What's happening? It's Simon. Simon Silverson is the witch of two wives. No, he's not. He is. He is, Charles. He's turning pennies into gold. Look. I don't believe it. Trust Simon to turn it to his advantage. How are you doing it, Simon? I've got the golden touch. Just like the king in that story. Look. Leave my satchel alone. Ow! Hey! Oh, my word! That's more like it. Teresa! I can't lift my hand! He's turned my hand to... 
to gold. Ow! It's tearing my shoulder from its socket. Oh, sit on the ground. Are you okay, Mullet? It hurts. My hand hurts. Turn my hand back, Simon Silverson. This isn't funny. No, wait. Don't speak, Simon. Don't say a word. Why? Be very, very careful what you say. Because everything you say seems to come true. Someone's enchanted you. They put a spell on you. So he's not the Witch of Two Wives? No. So... Careful, mate. So what I say... Comes true. Yep. You said you had the Midas touch. So instantly you have it. And anything else you say will be true, too. So he can unmagic me. All he needs to say is, you don't have a golden hand. I guess so. Well, say it, Simon. You don't have a golden hand. <laughs> oh! Ow! No! No, she's What's got no hand at all. I mean, I mean, you have two oh. perfectly ordinary human hands, like you did before. <sighs> there you go. It's worked. <sighs> Magic, this is fun. From now on, I'm all in favour of witchcraft. Right, people? What shall we do next? Who wants me to cancel the geography lesson for a start? Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. think you should do anything else, Simon. I really don't. You're just jealous, Mullet. Wait, Simon. This is Simon, mate. Don't rush into things. You don't want to draw too much attention to yourself too soon before you work things out, do you? I think the best thing to do is just carry on as normal. Yeah, I suppose I should. Yeah, you're right. Come on, everyone. We're going to geography. <laughs> just, just be careful, Simon. <laughs> I said you have to, so now you really all do. Gosh, this is fun. Well done, Charles Morgan. You've succeeded in turning yourself into a Simon Silverson slave. Why does nothing you do ever work out right? So if you all turn to page 70 of your textbooks, where we're going to be studying the consequences Man. of an ice age. Man, what? Here. Make me the same as Simon Silverson, and I'll be your friend forever. Dan Smith. Now, an ice age, or more precisely, glacial age, is a generic term for Nan. a geological period of long-term... I've always been your friend, Nan. Even when other people have laughed or been mean to you. Love and hugs, Delia. Nan! Meet me round the back after lessons. I think you need help, and I can advise you. Who passed this? I don't know. That is enough, 2Y. Now, Simon, will you please summarise for us what happens in an ice age? Uh, the temperature drops until... No! Oh, my life! There's icicles on the ceiling! Simon! We're all going to freeze to death! Quick! Reverse it! I, I mean, it gets, it gets hot. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, it, it's all pretty much normal. <sighs> what, what's going on? Uh, what happened just then? Is this some kind of a joke to why? Simon Silverson, can, can you please tell me what... Don't say a word, Simon. I'm waiting, Simon. Do you take me for some sort of an idiot? No, sir. Well, are you some sort of an idiot, then? Because you're certainly acting the fool. I'm not acting the fool, sir. Simon! No! Uh. <laughs> Simon Silverson, uh. what on earth are you uh. doing now? Close your mouth and uncross your eyes this uh. instant. Whatever you're up to, stop it at once. He's not playing, sir. He said, I'm not acting the fool. And so instantly... He wasn't uh, acting the fool. Nan Pilgrim put a spell on him. He turned my hand to gold, then vanished it away. It was all Nan. That's a lie! What, what nonsense uh, you're jabbering, Teresa. And I thought you'd learnt from Miss Hodges' class how serious accusations can be. An hour's detention for both you and Simon. And you, Nirupam. Detention? It'll be two hours if you don't sit down right now. All right, 2Y, I've had enough of your pranks. Journal's out. The rest of the lesson will be spent in silence as you contemplate your behaviour. Two hours' detention for you, Miss Mollett, and not another word. Nan, I took the spell off Simon. Oh, hi, Narapam. How? I got him to repeat after me. Nothing I said this afternoon came true, and nothing I say in the future will come true. Right, good. Um, Narapam... No offence, but I'm sort of meeting someone, so... No, wait. It was me that sent you that note. You? Yeah. Offering to help you. I don't need help. It's only a matter of time before someone goes to Miss Cadvalader. Teresa said she was going to as soon as her detention's done. Well, I'll... I'll do a spell to make her not. You're playing around with things you don't understand. That spell on Simon. Actually, that wasn't me. So you're not a witch? I am! I'm descended from the Archwitch. I bet I can do all kinds of things. You'll see. 
Uh, ice cream for supper, making people's dreams come true, riding a broomstick, escaping from this place. Teresa won't report me when she realises what I can do for her. Man, you can't live like that. Look, my brother tried, okay? He tried to please all of his friends, and one got annoyed that he was getting less than the others, and went to the police. My brother was burned. My mother was burned too for trying to save him, and my father for harbouring them. I'm sorry, I never knew. I was only a child. That's when I was sent here. What I want to tell you is this. There's a witch's underground rescue service in England. If you can get to them before the Inquisitors get to you, you might have a chance. I don't know who they are or how to reach them, but Estelle will. Estelle? Estelle Green? Yeah, right. Oh, it's hard for her too, Nan. It's hard for all of us. Please, promise me you'll speak to Estelle. I don't see what good it'll do. Please, Nan. We don't have much time. Wentworth, do you hear me? Wentworth, I said get up from under there. What the? He's gone. Brian what? Wentworth's gone. He's put pillows in the shape of a person. Hang on, there's something here. Ha ha, I have got Brian Wentworth in my power. Don't try and find him, you never will. Signed, the Witch of 2Y. Someone get the master on duty. You! Go on! Call the Inquisitors now for sure. Nan! Quickly! Just follow me. We haven't got much time. Estelle, what do you want? I told Nurapam yesterday. Brian Wentworth is missing and there's a note blaming the Witch of 2Y. The Inquisitors will come now. The school will have no choice. But I didn't do it! It doesn't matter. Too many people are saying your name. We need to get out of here. Now. But I'm still in my pyjamas. So are you. We can't. You're a witch, aren't you? So you can magic us some more clothes. But not here. Outside. Oh, come on, Nan, please! Right, Charles, just calm. Charles, think. They must have got the broom from here. They must. It's the only place. Surely there's another one. Surely there must be. Charles? Are you kidding me? Nirapam. I take it we're both here for the same reason? Bagsy the broom. I was here first. You found a broom? No, I can't find it. They've called the Inquisitors. Oh, Codswell have just announced it. And there are tracker dogs here already. I saw them arriving. Why did you do it, Morgan? I mean, I know he's annoying, but... I had nothing to do with Brian. He's run away, that's all. It's all made up about the witch. I could kill him. He's ruined everything. You didn't magic him away? No. Then why are you running? Because I'm the witch of 2Y. <laughs> that makes at least three of us. Three? You, me, Nan Pilgrim. And that's just as far as I know. You didn't think we were the only one, did you? <laughs> right. We've got to get out of here. But how? Here. A rake? You can have this if you want. A mop? Oh, that's the <sighs> best we can do. Well, come on. <sighs> what do I do? I thought you said you were a witch. I am, but I never made anything fly before. Hang on. You said you were a witch. Why don't you... It's no use. Everyone's magic is different. I usually sort of close my eyes and, and slow my mind, then think the spell. But I can't get my mind calm enough. You try. I, I don't think your way works for me. Of course it won't. You have to do it your way. All I said before was... Abracadabra? Abracadabra? With Simon I chanted, but I had his hairs. So that was you? You idiot. Fly, Mop. Fly, Mop. Fly, fly, fly. <sighs> hurry up. I'm trying to hurry. Fly, Rake. Fly, Rake. Fly, fly, fly. <sighs> fly, Mop. Fly, Rake. I order you to fly. I order you. I order you. I order you to fly. Abracadabra, fly. Yes. Whoa. You did it! Now, quick! How do you make this thing go higher? I don't think it can! I think it's too old! So we're going to bounce along a metre above the ground in broad daylight? At least the dogs won't catch our scent! 
Uh, come on, Morgan. We're out of here. Where are we going? I don't know. Head for the woods. Uh, uh, why we couldn't fly. I told you about the broom. We could have flown. In broad daylight? And a broom neither of us have ridden? You can't just jump on and ride, Nan. It takes months of practice. But... Nan, please. We don't have time. We need to get to the old gatehouse. The lady there runs the Larwood branch of the witch's escape route. But first, you'd better magic us some clothes. I don't know how. Just try. Just clear your head and try not to think too much. And just do it. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Out of uniform. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh my! Can you feel that? Uh-huh. It's lots of like rags swelling round you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> oh no! Wait, Nan. We're dressed as witches in storybooks. You've given us black robes and pointy hats. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, try again. Oh, oh quick, Nan. Uh, aga, tagger, ragga, roast. Wear the clothes you want the most. Oh, hey, you look cool. Droppers and riding boots. Oh, my life. What on earth are you wearing? Uh, pink silk ball gown? Oh, Nan. Never mind. We don't have time. We've got to get out of here. Ah! Hold on! How do you stop this thing? Look out! Great. Now we've lost our rake and mop. And about a hundred drivers have seen us and are now calling the police. Fantastic. Charles. Absolutely fantastic. Charles, look who it is. What are you two doing here? We found Brian Wentworth. Poor vanished Brian Wentworth. (laughs) You're less than a mile from the school gates. Oh, I can't travel by daylight, can I? Someone will see me. I didn't know you were a witch too, Nirupam. There's more of us than any of us (gasps) realised. They're still on us. You've got tracker dogs on you. No, you've got tracker dogs on us, you idiot. What did you think? You could just slip away and blame it on the witch and no one would even try and find you. We all knew you were stupid, Brian, but not that you were selfish. Me? Selfish? Yeah, because you hoped they'd go after me, didn't you? I've counted you two. Look, we've got to get going before they're on us. Any second now, one of them's going to pick up a scent. Come on. Are you sure this is it? It looks like it's been abandoned for years. Yes, children? How can I help you? I'm afraid if you're collecting for charity... Uh, A way out in the name of Dorsinia. Oh. Oh, my dears, my poor dears. I'm so sorry. The Inquisitors broke up the organisation years ago. They check up on me every week. I don't do a thing. Oh, but please. You have to help us. My mother... You might have known my mother. Diana Green? Oh, child. I grew up helping her. We must have saved a hundred witches over the years. They used to come to us at all hours, lost and wet and frightened. And we fed and clothed them and sent them on to other safe houses. Diana Green's daughter? Well, children, do either of you know the Portway Oaks? No, no. They're a circle of trees not far from here. Let me draw you a map. Go there and say these words. I'll write them down for you. Here. Is it a spell? I'm not sure. It's been handed down in my family for generations for use in emergencies. I'm told it's very powerful. Thank you. Now go. Please go before someone sees us. must be it. Six oaks in a circle. So, what do we do now? Say the word, I guess. Hang on. 
Did you hear that? Hear what? Shh. Oh, magic. There's something coming. What do we do? I don't know. Uh, hang on. It's Charles Morgan and Brian and Nirapan. <sighs> Estelle and Nan. You go away. Are you all witches too? Nan Pilgrim, what on magicking earth are you doing in a pink ball gown? Do you have any idea what you look like? Shh, guys, we don't have time for this. We need to say the spell. What's the spell for? We don't know. You're going to say a spell, and you don't know what it does. Do you have a better idea? Is that it? Just that funny word? You need to say it three times. Someone's taking the mickey. Shut up, Brian. <laughs> Please. Okay, on the count of three. One... Two, three. Crestomancy, Crestomancy, Crestomancy. See? Nothing's happened. Wait! Oh. My. Life. Wow. We've magicked up a man. Hmm. What are you all doing here? And where, if you don't mind me asking, on which earth are we? Hmm? Sir, we have to go now. That was a police dog. They were looking for Brian here, but now they're after all of us. And what do you expect them to do if they find you? Burn us! What? Burn you? We're all witches, you see, apart from Estelle. But she's aided and abetted, so she'll be punished the same. How very barbarous. Sir, we really... Relax. Now, I think the best thing is simply if no one sees us, don't you? Bush! Just a minute. <laughs> Nothing here, mate. We've lost him. You made a trail was leading right here. Let's get back to the road and try another direction. Come on, boy. There we go. How did you do that? They just looked right through us. I've tried so many times to make myself invisible. I'm afraid this probably isn't the ideal time, young man. Throwing up shields is a fairly advanced technique. Now, would one of you be so kind as to tell me where we are? The Portway Oaks, Loward Forest. Yes. Um, Hertfordshire? Yes. England, Britain, the world, the solar system, the Milky Way, the universe? Ah, yes. But which one? Which world, galaxy, universe, etc. There happen to be infinite numbers of them, and unless I know which one this is, I shall not find it easy to help you. You're not saying, are you, that you're from another world? I'm saying precisely that. Another world full of people just like you, running side by side with this one. There are myriads of them. So, which one is this one, hmm? There is one other world. It's the one the Witch's Rescue sends people into. Ah, a world with a sister world. Now, they're very rare. That narrows it down. The name of your Prime Minister, please. Greville Bone. And how many world wars have there been this century? Two, sir. And who were the main antagonists in the second one? Basically, England and Germany, sir. No, England and Germany? <laughs> Goodness me, no, are you quite sure? Yes, sir. Because of Hitler? Hitler. Adolf Hitler, sir. Yes. Yes, it brings a vague... You've never sort of... heard of Hitler, sir? Oh, I believe in most worlds I've come across, he's a very third-rate painter. Who ended his life in a lunatic asylum, raving, yet in your world... You... Well, all right. Name some other prominent figures from your century. Marilyn Monroe? Mahatma Gandhi? Walt Disney? No, no, and no again. Oh, dear me. I believe I'm going to need a history lesson. We're meant to be in history right now. Brian's dad's the history teacher. Well, then, we must go there as soon as possible. Back to school. But, but we can't go back, sir. The Inquisitors... They'll be there by now. And they have special equipment. Bells don't work around them. Oh, my dear boys. You don't think I'd rely on a mere spell, do you? I am what is known as an enchanter. You summoned me here using an extremely dangerous and powerful spell. You are fugitives in fear for your lives. I believe you have no choice but to trust me.
Oh, I feel sick. That was weird. Let me remind you that you are still invisible, so you should probably keep quiet, too. Ah, here comes the housekeeper. Oh, oh do come in, Inquisitor. We've been expecting you. Cresto, Mancy, how do you do? Cresto? I'm sorry. I was told to expect a Mr. Littleton. Quite right. Littleton is the uh, regional inquisitor, but head office decided the matter was too grave to be merely regional. I am the, uh, the uh, divisional inquisitor. Oh. oh, well, in that case... I hear your problem is with the second year class, Miss uh, Cadwallander. Uh, yes, I'll take you there right now. Follow me. Uh, I believe they're in history with Mr. Wentworth. You'll probably want to interview some of them. All of them? And most likely their teachers, too. Their teachers? Hmm. Oh, no, Inquisitor, you must understand. All teachers in this establishment... And are... their teachers, too? Well, sir... You, for example, have never used a spell. Beg your pardon, sir? Certainly not. Not even an incy-wincy spell just to ensure you'd never be caught. Why didn't I think of that? Young man. What's going on? Who was that? Where did that voice come from? I know that voice. Miss Codaway, please. We don't have much time. Just trust me and follow me. Who are you? You're not an Inquisitor, are you? Uh, are you some sort of trap? I'm going to make you visible now, children. Quick, come into the classroom, all of you. <gasps> Brian? Hi, Dad. What's going on? This man, David. He seems to know everything. He seems to know... You too, uh, Mr Wentworth. What on earth do you mean? Oh, I think you understand me. Is this a trick? Are you trying to get a confession out of me? He's an enchanter, Dad. At least he says he is. Oh, what's going on? This is supposed to be a history lesson. Uh, shh. I must ask you all to be quiet. Oh, dear. All right. Thank you. Until I ask you to speak again, please listen. We are in grave danger here, all of us. Some of you are aware, I believe, that there is at least one other world besides this one. It seems to be your custom to send escaped witches there. I presume, Mr Wentworth, that's where your wife is. Lydia? Mum escaped. You never told me, Dad. Lydia's alive? Is this a trick? How do you know? What you may not realise is that these are only two of a multitude of worlds, all very different from one another. I come from a different one myself. They are made up from the different events in history, where it is possible for things to go two ways. It is easiest to understand with battles. Both sides cannot win, so each war makes two different worlds with a different side winning. In your world, I believe Napoleon lost the Battle of Waterloo, whereupon immediately another world broke off where he won. England no longer exists there, except as a small town in India where they eat treacle pudding after their curry. Even a surprisingly small change, let alone a battle, usually alters the new world beyond recognition. The worlds break off cleanly, but something... I don't know what has gone wrong here. Causing your world to separate not quite fully from the other, its sister world. You shouldn't get a civilized world where witches are burned. Your world is still stuck in the fears and behaviors of a world where witchcraft does not and should not exist. We need to reintegrate this world with the world it didn't quite break away from, or else break it away entirely. I would counsel the former. If we go down the route of the latter, you will all almost certainly be burnt. Do you understand? My head is spinning. How can we trust you, Mr... Mr... Crestomancy, just Crestomancy. I'm afraid you don't have much choice, Mr Wentworth. I am holding the Inquisitors at bay at the moment, but I can't do so for much longer. Hang on. So, in the other world, there won't be witchcraft? I like being a witch. I beg your pardon. I said... You, of all people, Charles Morgan, do not deserve to be a witch. You cast a spell that could have broken up the world. If Simon... 
Where is Simon, by the way? Ah, don't speak. Just wave. If Simon had chanced to say something like two and two are five, then everything to do with numbers would have fallen apart at once. The earth, the sun in the sky, the cells in our bodies. But Nuripam took it off. He didn't take it off. He simply reversed it. So that nothing Simon says can ever come true again. Two plus two is four would have the same effect. You understand? I... I never thought of it that way. No. You never thought. You're better off without destructive powers you can't control. They'll manifest, and this applies to all of you with magic gifts, in the new world in other better ways. Now, I want you all to name a figure from history. Mr Wentworth. Uh. Dulcinea Wilkes. You? Joan of Arc, a peasant girl who became a saint. You? Uh, Richard the Lionheart, 11... 11... 1157 to 1199. Sorry. He was a brave English king and he led the Crusades. You? Dick Turpin, a dashing highwayman. You? I can't think of anyone. Think. Please. Think, Estelle. My mind's gone blank. The first person who comes to mind. OK, OK. Um... Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Tell me about Guy Fawkes, Estelle, and hurry, please, hurry. OK, OK, um, I don't know the dates exactly. Sorry, Mr Wentworth, but they put him on a bonfire for blowing up the Houses of Parliament. For blowing up the Houses of Parliament? M- Mr Wentworth? In 1605, Guy Fawkes was smuggled into the Parliament cellars with some kegs of gunpowder in order to blow up the government and king. But he seems to have made a mistake. The explosion came in the night and destroyed both houses without killing anyone. So Guy Fawkes got out, but they caught him at once. Uh, Guy Fawkes. Bravo. I think we've got it. The timing fits. And, 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 in no other world I've ever known has Guy Fawkes ever succeeded. Are you all right, Mr Crestomancy? I think the magic's exhausting him. Look outside. The Inquisitor's van is at the gates. You're meant to be keeping them away, sir. I'm afraid it's 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 more of a strain than I I anticipated. So what do we do? They're unloading. What do we do, Enchanter? You need to. You need to. We need to what, sir? I can't do it for you. You need to. You need to. We need to what? <laughs> He's vanished! What? I've got it! I think I understand. Well, please do enlighten us, Miss Pilgrim. Hurry, Nan. So, in every world but ours, Guy Fawkes didn't succeed. It was only in ours that he did. Except he didn't quite. His explosion was enough to wrench this world away from the one it came from. But not quite enough. Not enough that it could follow its own course. It's still joined to the old world. The world we should be in. That's right, Mr Wentworth, isn't it? In all of your history lessons, you tell us that before Guy Fawkes' time, witches were just old women in villages. And modern witchcraft dates back to 1606, when the first big public bonfire started. That's right. The 5th of November, that's when it happened. Even children know that, from the rhyme. Remember, remember the 5th of November, with gunpowder and treason and plot. The 5th of November is almost the end of Witch Week, when the portals between worlds are more open than normal. That's right. It's always easier to help witches escape in the weeks of Lunasa, Beltane, Serene and Imbolc. And it's Witch Week now, so the same peculiar magic and energy is around. We have to put our world back and close the hole where all the fear and black magic and persecution poured in. Three cheers, Dulcinea Pilgrim. How do we do that? Simon! Huh? The key is Simon. Whatever Simon says is not and never can be true. So if Simon says Guy Fawkes blew up the Houses of Parliament, he won't have done. And our world will never have happened. We'll just sort of melt into the people we are in the other world. The people we should be. But... We don't have time, Charles. We'll have to do it now. You have to say it, Simon. 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 Guy Fawkes blew up. Come on, Simon. Just say it after me. Guy Fawkes... Guy Fawkes. That's right. Blew up the Houses of Parliament. Guy Fawkes. Blew up the Houses of Parliament.
I remember the day they burned the witch. I was young, still in my pushchair, and Bernadine was pushing me through the market square while Mum did the shopping. We watched as the bonfire caught, and we watched the witch, who was a large, fat man with a wobbly, astonished face. Maybe he thought his magic would save him at the last moment, but it didn't. Then Mum rushed up and told off Bernadine for watching. Only awful people do that, she said. Soon after that, they changed the laws. There are no public burnings these days. And the Today programme simply announces two witches were burned this morning in the Holloway jail. <laughs> oh, that's an exceedingly inventive piece, Charles. Top marks. Well, well done. Now, I must say, too, why we've had some excellent Halloween-themed pieces this year. Uh, Nan Pilgrim's on Guy Fawkes actually blowing up the Houses of Parliament was another. And Estelle's on underground rescue services for witches. A sort of, sort of French resistance, eh, Estelle? It was excellent. Thoroughly, thoroughly excellent. Uh, thank you, Charles. You, you sit down now. Thank you. I loved your piece. I loved yours. I think I'm going to be an author when I grow up. Maybe we both will. And we'll think we're making the worlds and stories up. But somewhere, they'll all be true. <laughs> uh, uh, right, um, uh, to why uh, the bell is about to go. So uh, let me wish you all a happy Halloween. Oh, and, and here's something that will amuse you. Um, I found among the geography books an anonymous note. Um, here goes. Uh, Dear Mr Crossley... Someone in this class, are you ready, is a witch. <laughs> now, how's that for a Halloween message, eh? Now, dare I ask which one of you it is? Me, sir. Me, sir. I'm the witch. Can I be the witch, Mr Crossley? I want to be the witch, too. I want to be the witch, too. I want to be the witch, too. In Witch Week... Charles was played by Bill Milner, Nan by Alice Noakes, Neeropam by Joseph Samurai, and Estelle by Lauren Moat. Brian was Connor Doyle, Simon was Lawrence Belcher, Teresa, Priyanka Patel, Karen, Holly Bodymead, Delia, Rosie Ward Lowry, and the prefect, Ellie Goff. Mr. Crossley was Richard Lumsden, Miss Hodge, Tracy Wiles, Mr. Wentworth, Peter Hamilton Dyer, Mr. Towers, Harry Livingston, and Miss Cadwallader, Christine Absalom. Prestomancy was played by Paul Rees. Witch Week by Diana Wynne-Jones was dramatised by Lucy Caldwell and directed by Heather Lama. Mm -hmm.